Growing up in Splendora was a really unique experience, not only because of the area, but because of who my parents were in relation to the community. So there was a lot of really great memories that were involved with the property, and so that allowed me to fall back in love with Splendora as an adult. I want to take what I always found to be beautiful and just enchanting about this place and share it with everyone and make that what everyone sees when they come to Splendora. Will we ever learn or is it war and peace and war and peace? For me, I've been a curator and an artist on the Texas scene for over 20 years now. And I've always been aware of Splendora and the history, the amazing history that they built here way back in the day. And I could never understand why I never heard of anything happening here. I felt the need to revitalize Splendora. I have always in my heart known that this was part of my plan and my future and uh, a necessity of family need. And so a few years ago in 2013, life circumstances for myself and the property sort of dictated that that was the time that I needed to come back. Someone needed to. I was the only one that was going to out of all the sisters. Mom and dad have their life. So I came back and started working on it and slowly patching up the buildings and the property in and of itself and sort of making plans and starting to reach out to the community and find people who might be interested. So one of the things um, I'm bringing to the table, at least right off the bat, is getting this amazing studio back in um, circulation. We started in November with the Ulterior Motif Show, had a big opening, lots of fun. Um, what we want to do is build on that. Um, the underlying foundation is honoring the legacy of James and Charmaine and the Searles and everything that they did out here that was so amazing for so long. So honoring that legacy through art exhibits to begin with, but then um, what I really want to start focusing on right away, too, is artists and residencies. And eventually we want to have a collecting museum, we want to have trails and, and sculptures throughout the property, and we're sitting on 177 acres here. And so it's not just for artists or writers, it's for everybody, it's for the community. It's a big part of it for James and Charmaine, is that they want this to feel like a big living room for everybody. What we're consciously offering is to not have to hear the sounds of the city, to be able to go in and, and hang out and visit and see all the shows and go to the galleries and then come out here and be able to not have to deal with that, to be able to sit and you know listen to the birds and the trees and the wind and really absorb the natural experience and be able to channel that back into their art. I count my blessings every day to first off to just be able to wake up in Splendora and this is what I do. Um, I can't think of anything I'd rather put all my um, skills and, and energy towards is the legacy of James and Charmaine. But also, we just hit the jackpot as far as me and Ruby being able to do this together because like she said, we hit it off really well and we're great friends and um, her vision for the future matches what I have exactly and we're just excited to be able to do this together. It always starts out this way At first you can't think of another way To do the things you want to still be you There's plenty of space in here. Bring your tent, bring your sleeping bag. Um, but for those discerning guests, we also have a deal with the Best Western in Cleveland and they can get a 20% discount if they say they're here with Splendor Gardens. Cool! But for those that are adventurous, we're gonna have sleepovers out here, so come on out! You know who I don't win.